Jason Grace is a character from the Heroes of Olympus and Trials of Apollo. In this video, I'll explain Cherry's life in the Trials of Apollo and the little bits of info we got from the Magnus Chase series. As usual, spoiler warning, and with that, let's get started. Before getting into the Hidden Oracle or the first book in the Trials of Apollo, we need to get a bit more info as to what happened between the Blood of Olympus and the Hidden Oracle. After the events of the Blood of Olympus, Jason received the parchment scroll from Leo that told everyone that Leo was alive and that he'll arrive at Camp Hapblood soon. Because of this, Jason and Piper started looking for him everywhere, but it was no use. Leo was nowhere to be seen, and Chiron told Jason and Piper to stop the search and enroll in a high school. Jason and Piper took Chiron's advice, and they enrolled in the school in Los Angeles. So now, let's go to the Hidden Oracle. Jason doesn't appear in this book, but he is mentioned by Apollo. The Colossus Neronus attacked Camp Hapblood, and Apollo asked Percy for the Flying Boy, or Jason, to help him, but Percy tells him that Jason wasn't there. Jason doesn't appear in the Dark Prophecy, or the second book, but he was mentioned only once by Thalia. Thalia had come to aid Apollo during the battle in the way station, and she told Apollo to check on Jason. That's the only mention we ever get of Jason, so let's head to the Burning Maze, the third book. Here, Meg, Apollo, and Grover were trying to find an entrance to the labyrinth, and they needed to meet Jason, Piper, and Coach Hedge for some info on it. Instead of meeting all of them, they only met Piper, whose house was being cleared out. They talked to Piper instead, and she reveals that she and Jason broke up. Her reasoning was, things change. People change. Jason and me, we started out oddly. Hair kind of messed with our heads, made us think we shared a past we didn't share. We fought a war against Gaia. Then we spent months searching for Leo, then we tried to settle into school, and the moment they actually had some time to breathe. Through this, Piper says that their relationship had a fake basis, and that they tried to make some real memories, but it wasn't working out. After this conversation, Apollo, Meg, Grover, and Piper go to a labyrinth and encounter Medea. The group talks to Medea, and they learn that Jason was told a hard truth that was enough to break him. Medea told him that Jason also knew where Caligula was, and that he was the best person to give them instructions. Around this time, Jason was studying in an all-boys school called Edgarden Day Boarding School, and he transferred there after he and Piper broke up. The group meets with Jason in his dorm, and he reveals that the school is being infiltrated by monsters, and that he was keeping an eye out for some teachers that might be monsters in disguise. Apollo tells Jason that Thalia said hello, and explained what happened in the Dark Prophecy. They then saw Jason's project of a shrine to all of the gods for the camps, and Apollo notices Kim's shrine. Jason explained that he promised to make a shrine for her as well, and how she helped the Seven cross to Athens in the blood of Olympus. Piper decides to get to the bottom of everything, and asks him about the burning maze. Jason sighs and admits that he didn't tell Piper everything about the labyrinth, and that he met the oracle inside it. He then said that the oracle told him that Apollo should rescue her, and that he was told about the location of the third emperor, confirming what Medea had said. Jason went on and told them that they had to get a pair of shoes to locate Caligula, and that Apollo had to face this quest on his own with Meg. He also adds that if Piper and Jason did this quest together, it would be too dangerous. Piper and Jason then get into a bit of an argument after that, and it ends with Piper announcing Caligula's plans of being the new sun god, and that they met Medea inside the maze, which shocked Jason. Piper doesn't fully explain it, and instead says that they need to go. Piper leaves with Meg, and Jason is left with Apollo. Apollo doesn't fully believe Jason's story of the oracle, and once Piper and Meg leave, he says, Alright, what did the Sybil really tell you? Jason hesitates to tell him, and asks why Apollo thinks Jason was holding back more information. Apollo replies that Jason couldn't lie about oracles or prophecies to the god of prophecies, and Jason is forced to admit what happened. Jason tells him that the Sybil, or the oracle, told him that if Piper or Jason go back into the labyrinth, one of them would die. The two talk some more, and Apollo deduced that Jason had planned to find Caligula himself instead of Piper, and that's what he didn't tell Piper. Jason asks if Apollo ever heard from their father Zeus, and it dawned on Apollo that Jason had tried to defend him against Zeus in the blood of Olympus, which greatly touched Apollo. Jason then took Apollo by the shoulders and said, Promise me one thing. Whatever happens, when you get back to Olympus, when you're a god again, remember. Remember what it's like to be human. They were about to leave to meet Piper and Meg, but Apollo blurts out, About Piper, it's just, you seem like such a good power couple. Did you really, did you break up with her to make it easier for her to leave LA? 
Jason hesitates before admitting that Piper ended it months ago. The group then drives to the place and is captured by Pandai. Meg attacks, and Jason helps fighting them off. Piper and Apollo ran to find the shoes, but Jason got trapped in a powerful tornado. Piper then got hurt by Caligula, and Apollo got outraged. Apollo took an arrow and threatened to kill himself, as the ritual Caligula was doing wouldn't work without him. And suddenly, Jason burst out of his prison. He charges at Caligula, and they fought. Piper regains consciousness and gave Medea a punch before running to Jason. She stumbles because of an explosion, and Pandai shot Jason. Arrow after arrow battered him, but Jason kept on fighting. He sees Apollo and Piper and tells them to go and remember, which references what Jason had said to Apollo earlier. Then, Caligula comes in and stabs Jason fatally. In the last seconds of his life, Jason made his horse Tempest go to Apollo and Piper to save them. Tempest also brings Jason's dead body to them, and Piper was devastated. She begged Apollo to bring him back to life, but Apollo helplessly says he can't. Piper even wanted to venture to the doors of death and find the physician's cure, but it was no use. Jason was dead, and when Piper's father comes to them, Piper quickly lies that Jason got into a surfing accident. Apollo and Meg then place Jason's body in a coffin, and the two decided that they'll bring it to Camp Jupiter. Suddenly, Leo Valdez comes in to meet them, but he learns the horrible truth that Jason was dead. Leo cries with Piper, and Apollo swears to avenge Jason's death in the future and make the triumvirate pay. And now, let's go to the Tyrant's Tomb, the fourth book. Here, Apollo and Meg drive Jason's body to Camp Jupiter. On the way, they are attacked by Euronimos, but are saved by Lavinia Asimov. A funeral was held for Jason, and the Romans mourn his death. Later on in the book, Frank avenges Jason by killing Caligula through a massive explosion. It could have killed Frank, but Frank didn't care, and the last thing that Caligula ever heard was Jason's name before the explosion killed him. Now, let's go to the Tower of Nero, the fifth and final book. Even though Jason was dead and buried, Jason makes an appearance in this book through a dream Apollo had. Apollo passes out and sees Jason. Apollo cries and apologizes for Jason's death, but Jason counters this by saying it was nothing and that he said peace for what he did. Apollo argues, though, by saying that Jason shouldn't have died, but Jason says, I mean, sure, but if a hero isn't ready to lose everything for a greater cause, is that person really a hero? He then warns Apollo of Nero's fasces, and the dreams fade away. Later on in the book, Jason is mentioned again through Annabeth. Annabeth admits that she should have been there to comfort Piper, and that she had cried once the news arrived. Percy is also seen to mourn Jason's death, and Apollo feels bad along with them. When Apollo arrives in Camp Half-Blood, Nico tells him that he can sense Jason's soul in the underworld, but he can't tell if Jason was choosing Elysium or Rebirth. Aside from the trials to Apollo, Jason was mentioned a few times in the Magnus Chase trilogy. He was mentioned in the Sword of Summer through a chapter called Hearthstone Passes Out Even More Than Jason Grace, though I have no idea who that is, which is a reference to how much Jason got knocked out in the Heroes of Olympus. The last mention we ever get of Jason is from The Ship of the Dead, the last Magnus Chase book. Percy mentions Kim, and in turn talks about how Jason saved him. We also get an indirect mention of Jason when Magnus called Annabeth up. Annabeth tried to hide it, but it was clear that she had been crying. It's later revealed in the Tower of Nero that Annabeth had been crying because she just heard the news of Jason's death. And that's all we know about Jason so far. Jason is the type of friend you'll always be glad to have. He's kind, selfless, brave, and extremely loyal, and despite being not my most favorite out of the seven, he's always had a place in my list of favorite characters. So how about you? What do you think of Jason's relationship with Piper? Let me know in the comments down below.